Get this. The owners of a gym in New Jersey that's repeatedly been targeted by Democrat Governor Phil Murphy's authoritarian COVID crackdowns just resisted him and the anti-constitutional courts by literally kicking down the boards the government mob erected to keep them out of their own business. You want to get charged up with adrenaline? This is your opportunity. Hi everyone, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV. You know, perhaps this is the way some American colonials felt when they heard about the Boston Tea Party. Or, to give it a musical spin, perhaps this is what Detroit area fans felt when they heard proto-punks the MC5 shake the landscape with their song Kick Out the Jams for the first time in 1969. Gonna kick them out. <laughs> Regardless of the comparison, this is epic. The audacious and courageous owners of a Tillis gym in Belmar, New Jersey, Saturday defied Democrat Governor Phil Murphy's authoritarian shutdown and literally kicked down the boards the government mob erected in the gym entrance. As Sam Dorman reports for Fox News, owners Ian Smith and Frank Trombetti just fulfilled their promises to their employees, their clientele, the political class, and the world. Following Governor Murphy's first authoritarian shutdown of them and many other businesses in May, Smith and Trombetti have been part of a blossoming American movement of folks fighting for their rights against toweringly unconstitutional and immoral threats. They've been reopening their businesses and engaging in free consenting associations with clients. And the state has not liked that one little bit. On Saturday, Smith told Fox News this. We were charged last Friday with contempt of court and Murphy immediately got a, uh, a hearing on Monday. Uh, Monday, we actually uh, were found to not be in contempt of court. Uh, and then Wednesday, or excuse me, Thursday, we were, uh, we were served with brand new charges and we had contempt of court Friday. Um, we were found to be guilty in contempt of court. So um, the, the judge awarded the state the ability to come and padlock our doors. So Frank and I have been here now for over 48 hours running the gym 24 hours a day, seven days a week uh, with the help of some volunteers and we took the doors off the hinges. That prevented the governor from padlocking the doors or changing the locks. And if this sounds familiar, that's because this conjurous trick of changing the locks is precisely what the government of Oxford, Massachusetts did in June on the impetus of its rhino governor, Charlie Baker. Locks being changed. Another step as the town of Oxford seeks to force prime fitness to close. Overnight, the town shut off water and electricity. As you can see, people are still coming to work out, regardless of power or water. And like Blondin, New Jersey Smith and Trombetti will not be deterred by immoral, mafia-like threats. Mere minutes after leaving court Friday, July 31st, Smith stood on the tax-laid courthouse steps and said in part, so Now we're locked out. But I'm gonna tell you guys, on Saturday, we're kicking it in and we're opening up again. Yeah! And if you arrest me, guess what I'm going to do again? I'm going to open my chin. I would not mess with either one of these dudes. No way. Holy smoke. I mean, I'm, you know, I keep myself fit, but like I said, one of their biceps is as big as my thigh. It's like, okay, guys, go for it. And in writing, he said, we didn't pick this fight. This fight came to us. Frank and I made a promise to each other that we would see this thing all the way through, no matter what. We have not broken any laws, yet we are being treated like criminals. Tyrants use force to exercise their will, threat of imprisonment, financial ruin, and more. And a tyrant is what we have in office. No science, no data, only conclusive statements with no proof. We presented a plan, a sensible one, and open responsibly, and you decided to make it personal. So now here we are. You will not tread on my rights. You will not ruin everything we've worked our whole lives for, and you will be held responsible for your trespasses. 
Hashtag lions, not sheep. Darn right. Kick out the jams. Notes Fox News' Dorman. Part of their resistance included switching from an LLC to a private membership association, PMA, which they say allows them to sidestep regulations related to the pandemic. They've also nicknamed their gym the Anti-Murphy Autonomous Zone, AMAZ, playing off the protest zone open in Seattle this summer. An Instagram post shows people using gym equipment outdoors with a sign that reads, This is AMAZ, Anti-Murphy Autonomous Zone. Said Trombetti of Murphy's Unilateral Edict. He used the verbiage as long as you are not licensed as a gym or health club. Mr. Murphy likes to use specific words and we like to use them against him. He actually even took it a step further on Monday and he actually opened up all high risk sports for full contact as long as it's outside. So I can do full contact martial arts. I can box somebody outside. I can tackle them in football. I can do a rugby, uh, you know, scrum and I can't get COVID. But somehow if I walk <laughs> into my gym and, and decide I want to lift weights, you know, or even going inside of my, a martial arts studio, it, it, I'll get COVID if I do the same exact things. It's actually insanity. Well said. No wonder these local business owners have created the anti-Murphy autonomous zone. This is the governor who March 21st issued an executive order to close gun stores. This is the governor who shortly after Independence Day appeared on the oh so friendly Meet the Press to call for a nationwide mask mandate. As I mentioned, this virus is a lot more lethal inside than outside. But if you're leaving your house, put on a mask. I think it ought to be a national a national requirement. This is the governor who, in 2018, sided with the leftist state legislature to literally create a state propaganda conduit, showering $5 million in taxpayer cash on local news sources that the politicians really, really favor. There's nothing like free markets and freedom of speech in New Jersey, I guess. A governor? And this is the governor who, when Fox News' Tucker Carlson asked him in April how he would square shutting down a synagogue with the readily readable Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights, as you well know, protects Americans' right and shrines their right to practice their religion as they see fit and to congregate together to assemble peacefully. By what authority did you nullify the Bill of Rights in issuing this order? How do you have the power yeah, to we do were, that? That's above my pay grade, Tucker. So I wasn't, uh, I wasn't thinking of the Bill of Rights when we did this. Well, Mr. Murphy, you swore an oath to the contrary. And you know what? Even if you lied when you swore your oath, or you were so toweringly ignorant of the US and New Jersey constitutions, you just had no idea what was in them, all you need to do is think morally and ask, is it right? Is it moral to threaten peaceful property owners and voluntary participants in peaceful activities? Who's not the peaceful figure in that equation, Mr. Murphy? Who are the figures who can threaten people with fines and force and handcuffs and guns and possibly infect them against their will, even as those authority figures suck up the productive earnings of their very victims through the legal theft called taxation. That, Governor, would be you. You are the tyrant. You are the problem. And we can take note. We can note the stunning contrast between rioters breaking into other people's businesses to loot and burn and the peaceful Attilus gym owners having to kick in the barriers your government ordered on their own doors and paid for with their tax cash. We can note that Attilus' owners have a GoFundMe page where people can voluntarily donate themselves to the cause of freedom to fight your tax-fed extortion-like machine. And we can note the phone number of your attorney general's office, as well as your office number at the bottom of your official website. An office where no doubt you didn't have to kick down anything to walk inside. And of course, a place where you really don't have to please any customer to keep sucking up his or her cash. And like the Attilus gym owners, we too can get active and kick out the jams based on our own principles. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. 
Please like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. The subscription numbers have been rising rapidly. That is fantastic. I'll see you in the comments section. Remember to visit us over on Facebook. Head over to mrctv.org to find out what the whole team is doing. And go to mrc-store if you want to get some great MRC items that kind of tweak the leftists out there. They're really awesome. For MRC TV and hats off to the Attilus gym owners, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.